Hi Divas! I have a new unboxing for you. It's called Jelly Space by Dakota Detweiler. This is a sneak peek for Diamond Art Club. It is a 22 by 28 inches, which means 55.8 centimeters by 70.7 centimeters. It is a square kit. It is a square kit by Diamond Art Club. Let me open the goodies, peel back the plastic protector. You will notice that on the sides, the back, you will get some great information. And don't forget, there is a scan me code on the bottom to unlock a discount on future purchases. If you've never made a purchase from Diamond Art Club before, Check the description box below for an, uh, for my affiliate link. And don't forget to use the code Wanda's Work Basket for your discount on your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club. Okay, this is Jelly Space by Dakota Detweiler. First, you will notice that you get a little tiny sticker that is great to go on the box at the bottom for your inventory or in any kind of uh, inventory notebook that you may use. Uh, you can even use them to make your own cover minder. Stick them on a magnet and put them on your fridge if you'd like. You will get your toolkit and I'll show you what's inside. Because it is a square, Diamond Art Club includes, includes its own tweezers. It is a sharp tweezers. You will get your, your pen and squishy. You will get a boat for your drills with a stopper on the end so that when you shake your drills in the tray, they won't all come falling out. You will get two multi-placers, a four and a seven. You will get your own cover minder, pretty little yellow rose in this one. This will be a random cover minder. You will get two hearts of pink wax, a bag of baggies, and you will get a random colored washi tape. Now this washi tape is kind of fall colored. It's got orange, orange flowers on it. Isn't that pretty? You can use this in several ways in your kits to Put a nice straight edge on the edges of the canvas. That way your first courses of drills will line up nice and straight along the edges. Also, it will prevent any kind of hair or dirt or dander from getting stuck in the glue that kind of is over the edge of your kit. And it can help you section off your canvas so that you can do a section at a time. Many different ways to use washi tape in your diamond paintings. First you will notice the canvas. A lot of times it doesn't need to be unrolled. Now this is made, it almost seems upside down. That's the way Dakota had it. Okay, Dakota has this um, this almost like lightning in the bottom, but it could be the bottom of the ocean. You have jellyfish dancing. It almost looks like in space. So it could be a cosmic, like a, a supernova in the background. Jelly space. So you have jellyfish out in space. The colors are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. By the looks of it, I can see on the side it will have, let's see, one, two, three, Aurora Borealis diamonds in it. You will notice that at um, the, each side you will have an index on each side of, of what the um, sequence number is, the very clear symbol, and the number of the DMC color code number on it, which will correspond to the bag. You will see at the very bottom that you get a thumbnail and all the information that you need for the kit to identify the kit. You get social media access information down here. And you get a warranty that in case something goes wrong, 
just contact support and they will help you out. Okay, so this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to bring out just a little bit more so you can see the canvas as a whole here. Wow. Wow. Look at this. I just, the colors are just phenomenal. Really phenomenal. You also get in your kit, you get a, a sticker sheet with all the identifying marks on it. And these are cut individually so that when you kit up or kit down, you can put these on your container so that you know you can tell the drills from, um, you can tell one drill from another and get the right colors in the right spaces. And you have a thank you for your purchase pamphlet that has all kinds of tips and tricks in it. And another thank you code in discount code in there. All right. On your drill packs, you will see that each drill pack has the name of the, the piece plus its inventory number so that you know what the drills belong to. There you go. I'm going to show you the diamonds up close and personal. They come with a multitude of colors. I really love these colors. I love the way that they are. Oh, look at the deep dark blues for the ocean. I love the way that they shine all on their own. Even if they aren't special drills, they have a, a glow about them. Altogether, this kit has 61 colors, in case I didn't mention that before. Oops. 61 colors. Okay. Greens and blues a lot in this kit. There are pops of bright, vivid colors in between. Like this chartreuse. I don't know, I just like using that word chartreuse. <laughs> there we go. Some um, deep cranberries and grays. Beautiful blue. Along with the taupe. And along with the greens, you have these purples and a cornflower blue. Oh, there's some hitchhikers in with the peach here. Beautiful, beautiful colors and tones. You get some three tens. Of course, you absolutely need some three tens in order to shut off. You absolutely need some three tens in order to show off the brilliance of the other colors. If you didn't have black and white, the other colors would not pop like they do. Look at these brights. Wow, pinks, reds, a yellow. Beautiful. Peaches and different blues. An orange. Wow. These jellyfish are going to be brilliant. Now, to show you the Aurora Borealis, the AB colors, we have a 126, a 129. And the 141. Lots of the 141 sparkles. There, I know exactly where they're going to show up. We'll start with that one. Let me bring out a little bit wider so you can see what's going on here. Okay. There are a lot of little tiny dots of white. That's where the white Aurora Borealis is going to go so that it flashes. It's all over the canvas. These dots are all over the canvas. It's also concentrated in and around the edges of the jellyfish, in and around the jellyfish hood, and in the mane of the jellyfish. There's some in the uh, supernova in the back, 
and let's see, there's some in the top of this jelly here. Like I said, they're sprinkled like rain all down here. This kind of looks like lightning, but you know, maybe it's, maybe uh, what I think is upside down isn't because it's like it's outer space. It's free flowing. There isn't any upside down or right side up in space. So it's not like they're in the ocean working their way up to space. Space is out here. They're all over. So you have the other white <clears throat> flashes in the lightning a lot in the cloud formations at the very bottom. Cool. Okay, the next one to look for is the purple. And that will be a number one. I see that in particular in this jelly over here. All these light purples in this jelly for sure are number ones. It's heavy in that one. There are also number ones in the bottom here. In the, the purple, like, cloudy areas down here in the bottom. And the 129 is the number two. I see the number two heavy in this jelly and in the purple one here as well. There are number twos in this jelly in here. I'm glad that the colors brought over here. There's some in here as well. In that part of the jelly, pretty much that's where I see it. That's where I see the Aurora Borealis. Now you could punch it up too if you wanted to and do some more um, use your spare drills, your spare Aurora Borealises, and do some in the green, maybe, um, or in the red, the red in this one, the red and pink in this one would be wonderful. That would be a good place to put them. They would be like 498 or 817 or 915. Those colors, it might be a 3607 or a 718. It could be in those. That would punch that one up a bit. You could put a little bit in the green in that one. Or you could put some crystals in the supernova here. Now, granted, you know, when you hang it up, the focus is going to be on these gorgeous jellyfish, and that's where it should be. The supernova in the back is not the primary feature, so you may not want to punch that up as heavily. The lightning as if the jellyfish are drawn toward the lightning at the bottom. <coughs> um, the Aurora Borealis is very appropriate down there. There's a little bit of the red over here. So if you punch up the red, the Aurora Bar Borealis in the red, um, especially the 817, if that's a color that's available, I would definitely do that color. That would bring some of the ABs over there. It would bring some of the, the look over there. I would definitely do that. Very nice. The colors are just phenomenal. I, I'm, I'm drawn to color. If you watched Wanted to Work Basket before, you know that I am drawn to color. <laughs> so the colors are really what stand out to me at this. It's beautiful. It's really a beautiful canvas. So let me know what you think. Is this a winner? Are you going to pick this one up? Let me know if you would change any of the diamonds out in this into something a little more poppy. Wow. Let me know what you think. I love a good, abstract, colorful painting. All right, divas. Talk to you later. Bye.